Thank you for joining Konami at our third annual pre-E3 show. For those whom I haven't had the chance to meet yet, my name is Tomoyuki Saboy, president of Konami Digital Entertainment America. Once again, we have an exciting show planned for you today, filled with behind-the-scenes segments with key members from our production teams, as well as world premiere news announcements and game trailers from our most beloved brands. This year is very special for Konami, as we are celebrating our 40th anniversary. In 1973, we began as an amusement machine manufacturing and distribution company in Japan. Now, we are one of the world's leading entertainment companies. Konami Digital Entertainment continues to provide consumers all over the world with products in a variety of entertainment platforms, including mobile, social, and trading card games. We are also helping kids stay active with the launch of Dance Dance Revolution Classroom Edition in North America. Built by educators, for educators, Dance Dance Revolution Classroom Edition has received praise across the country for being an innovative tool for teachers and students to encourage kids and adults to be more active. With the help of our partners, including United Healthcare, the American Diabetes Association, and Mrs. Obama's Let's Move in School initiative. We're happy to report that many schools have integrated Dance Dance Revolution Classroom Edition into their physical fitness programs. We look forward to continuing our part to combat childhood obesity. Additionally, we will continue to push the digital entertainment industry forward by introducing products that feature cutting-edge technology never before seen. And that is just the start. With two keywords, joy and fun, in mind, Konami Digital Entertainment will continue to deliver quality products that meet the changing needs of our customers for the next 40 years and beyond. There is a lot more to share, though, and to begin our show, I would like to hand things over to our social game studio. Over the past year, our offices in the Bay Area have grown by three times, uh, and that's mainly attributable to the growth in the Dragon Collection Studio. The Dragon Collection Studio has been hard at work on MLB Dream 9, creating new content for the 2013 baseball season. They've also brought that title to iOS, so users who enjoy the Facebook version can play anytime, on the go, on their iPhones or iPads. Over the past year, Puzzle Chasers has reached over 2 million unique users, and it's currently being co-published with our partners at Zynga. Digital Publishing's main goal is to support our Konami titles, whether developed in-house or externally, but we're also excited about growing our independent developer portfolio. So whether you're an independent developer domestically or internationally, and you want to bring your game to iOS or Android, Konami Digital Publishing can help you do that, and we'll take care of everything outside of direct development so you can do what you do best, which is make great video games. Under that independent developer publishing program, we recently signed on Kung Fu Factory, an indie studio in Los Angeles, to publish multiple titles, bringing them to iOS, and the first of those will be Domo Jump, coming out soon. Konami's coming out with another great baseball title in MLB Live Challenge. This game is developed by our BCS, or Baseball Content Studio. MLB Live Challenge combines light fantasy mechanics with team management, bringing something never before seen on Facebook or iOS. Be sure to look out for MLB Live Challenge's teaser on our jumbo screen at the Konami booth during E3. Last year, we announced the opening of a studio in Orange County, which we're calling OCDS, or Orange County Development Studio. They're hard at work on making Konami's jump into social casino apps. A couple of those titles that they'll be coming out with are Slot Revolution and Casino League. For those of you attending E3, be sure to stop by the Konami booth and play the mobile titles that I mentioned on both iOS and Android devices, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. The goal of PES 2014 is to capture the true essence of football. To accomplish this, we have created a new game engine to innovate and transform gameplay. 
We have been developing this new engine over the course of the last few years. We call the system centered around the new engine fluidity. The name is derived from our analysis of total football, which is characterized by fluid, constant switching of positions. It was inspiring. Originally based on the Fox engine, this new engine was created exclusively for this football game. The images it will create are much higher quality than have ever been seen before in a sports game. Utilizing many new elements, which I will introduce in a moment, our new engine is able to achieve a whole new approach to the game. The six elements of the new engine are True Ball Tech, Mass, Pez ID, Team Play, Heart, and the core. With True Ball Tech, you can control the ball in any direction. This even includes while it is in the air. We have also added the concept of berry center. This allows the users to control the berry center of players and the ball separately, making you feel as though you are actually playing football. The result is a more instinctive style of play. MASS stands for Motion Animation Stability System. It simulates the physics of body contact within bespoke animations that flow seamlessly within play. We weren't looking to just add flashy moves. We wanted to bring real play and tactics to the game. When we achieve that through gameplay, the result is that Pez now truly feels like a competitive match. Just like the real thing. The purpose of the heart aspect is to capture the essence of playing both at home and away. To properly create that experience, we've implemented team morale and player motivation levels. So as you play and do well, your entire team will be influenced by home and away environment. This will in turn affect each player's personal motivation, and as a result, affect players' abilities. Our game has a long history, which can make it very difficult to think outside the box. Our new engine has been the key to breaking new ground. Of course, our older versions have had many great elements to them, but we've been limited by previous engines. This time, we've changed direction and focused on the total package, including user experience, player controls, and more. We are planning many more features. We'll announce these updates in the near future. Please stay tuned. The new engine will impress users with an ever-evolving gameplay experience and make scoring more enjoyable. Ultimately, we really want users to enjoy this new evolution of PEZ 2014. This time, with Metal Gear Solid V, 
The themes are a little different from previous games in the series. We're taking on some very heavy subjects, such as race and revenge. This makes the tone much darker. As a result, I wanted Snake to have a more subdued performance, expressed through subtle facial movements and tone of voice rather than words. Furthermore, the game takes place in 1984, when Snake is 49 years old. Therefore, we needed someone who could genuinely convey both the facial and vocal qualities of a man in his late 40s. It's different from anything we've done before, so I asked a producer friend of mine in Hollywood, Avi Arad, for advice. He's the one who introduced me to Mr. Kiefer Sutherland, and I was like, why didn't I think of that? So we were at dinner in Japan celebrating the 25th anniversary of Metal Gear Solid. And we started talking about actors, and I said to him, why don't you go for Kiefer Sutherland? Whenever I think of Snake, uh, I think of a certain voice delivery. And Kiefer has this fantastic, rich uh, voice that maintains uh, a, lo a level of mystery to it. It's an honor to be able to play this character. This character has an unbelievable legacy, but there's a real personal quality to the character that I've connected to. I felt that he was the perfect fit in terms of age and performance. So, we made him an offer. I'm not a gamer, and I even knew about this game. I was certainly keenly aware of the legacy of these games, the unbelievable success of these games. Kiefer immediately understood what I was looking for. I was very moved by his commitment to the project. Well, I've never done the facial capture before where they stick all the metal dots on your face. Everything from a smile that's like, like that, or one of them is a monkey face, which is the most embarrassing to do, which is like, like that. And it's so that they can catch every line that changes in your face. The face of the character in the video game is doing exactly what I'm doing while I'm reading the script. That's impressive. In previous Metal Gears, Snake's emotions were expressed through phrases like, Kaz, are you okay? But this time, all he says is, Kaz? I wanted everything else to be expressed to the player through Snake's facial expression and vocal performance. Thanks to the top-notch acting, it's been a great success. I think it will turn out to be something truly special. A friend of mine used to be Snake, uh, but Kiefer is, uh, is a class by, him, by himself. Trying to isolate what does Snake want for the future? And how does the past weigh on him? There is a character's hope for a future. And that rounds out what I term as the human experience. Uh, it's what I've always loved about movies. Uh, it's not something I've experienced as a character in a video game before. As technology improves and game hardware continues evolving to adapt to these changes, we developed a new game engine called the Fox Engine. It's one step closer to creating photorealistic experiences within the context of a game. Meeting that challenge required that we shift from creating characters by hand to capturing real-life actors in 3D. By using their physical likeness along with their voice, facial expressions, and movements, we can create believable, photorealistic characters whose performances are closer to what you'd expect from live-action movies as opposed to traditional video games. That's one of the first goals I set for this game. This role differs from any other video game that I've done. And then also the technology has changed so vastly um, from the other games I've done. And, and the other games are not that old. Technically starting to cross a line uh, with what they're capable of doing and what these guys have done. It's exciting to be a part of it. We want to try to see just how far we could go in creating a truly believable, living, breathing incarnation of Snake. To the people that made the game, thank you for having me. This has been an unbelievable experience, and I hope the gamers enjoy the game as much as I have enjoyed making it. Kojima-san was able to capture a biblical proportion story. The system has been changed to embrace an open-world game design. It's different from previous stealth games and results in a more tension-packed experience. This new style of gameplay, along with the new creative process and realistic characters, will add more depth than ever before to the storytelling and atmosphere. Please look forward to the final product.
when we set out in 2007 to uh, you know reimagine Castlevania and to do something new with it, uh, it was a very risky proposition, and uh, you know we, we were all very nervous about it. With the Laws of Shadow universe, we decided very early on we wanted to tell the story of Dracula, but we felt that Dracula had never been properly explained, or his story had never been properly told. With Laws of Shadow 1, we, we, we showed Gabriel Belmont, who eventually becomes Dracula. We showed him off on a righteous quest, you know, with all the good intentions that that entailed, and we saw him fall into darkness steadily, and we, we ended Laws of Shadow with a very dramatic epilogue, and it was the epilogue that re people really picked up on and really liked. Lords of Shadow 2 pretty much picks up from that epilogue. Nosotros nos planteamos, eh... Well, we propose Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2, as a sequel of the original, but with renovated spirit. In Lords of Shadow 2, the story becomes dark, I would even say cruel. It's a game of intense and contradictory feelings. The main character in this game is Dracula, and he has uh, three new abilities that you'll see in the demo. In this game, unlike the previous game, uh, enemies have shields, they wear armor, and you need to break down their defenses using the Chaos Claws to expose the weaknesses underneath. And that will then allow you to use your Blood Whip or your Void Sword, depending on, on how you choose to play. We've really developed the combat to make it even more special, to feel even more tight, uh, strategic, tactical, um, more spectacular. We had to adapt the game engine, the Mercury engine. We had to adapt it to the new era. That forced us to make some hard decisions to adjust the game to the new format. Basically, there were two reasons that we had to do this. One of them was that we wanted the game's world to grow organically and not level to level. In Lords of Shadow 2, you'll be able to walk freely all over the game's universe, without loading times, and with a very organic and real feeling. You know, we give the player the opportunity to go backwards, to go to left, to go right, and to really explore the world and look around and feel like they're part of this universe. Secondly, we wanted to have a free camera that could move everywhere. This was obviously more demanding for our engine than a fixed camera. Lords of Shadow 2 is going to have a much bigger graphic quality than the first one, but it will also be more complex since we are not only painting what we want the player to see. It is the player who can turn the camera 360 degrees, and you have to build that properly. What's really unique about Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 is we're taking the series into a modern day setting, so for the first time we're going to see Dracula in a, in a, in a modern city. Of course we still have Dracula's castle there, and the players will sp still spend a lot of time exploring Dracula's castle, but they'll also have this huge city to explore. Music is one of the fastest vehicles to make people feel something. Talking to Oscar Araujo, the composer, we decided to point the music in the direction of the character's emotions. It's been an absolute pleasure working with Enric and the team at Mercury Steam because those guys, uh, you know, they understand uh, the complexities and the difficulties of game development, especially uh, you know, modern game development. Mercury Steam is so proud and happy of their work with Konami, developing the Lords of Shadow series. It has been an unforgettable experience. So please check out the demo on the Konami booth at E3. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, now it gives me great pleasure to show you our brand new trailer, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. An unusual hiding place for the Prince of Darkness. Zobek. Yes, old friend, it is I. Where have you been all this time? Out there, amongst the living. And what of you? Why have you been hiding all this time? I cannot die. Yet, I cannot live. A mere shadow of your former self. Shadow am I? What do you want?
want, old friend. Satan's acolytes are ready for his imminent return. It is time to get out of this wretched tomb you have made for yourself. Stop skulking in the shadows. Help me, and I can free you of your immortality.
Konami. So I hope you enjoyed the trailer. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 is coming later this year on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. And now we have one more surprise for you. <laughs> Greetings, Dracula! I am Satan! Prepare thyself for the final battle! <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm, I'm not Dracula, I'm... You're not? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Jeff. Oh, oh, uh, my bad. Hey, Dad? Yeah. Can you come pick me up? Yeah, I think I just shit my pants. Thanks again for tuning in. Before I leave you, on behalf of Konami, I would like to thank you all for your continued support, and I hope you enjoyed our show. For more news and information, be sure to check us out on Konami.com and like us on Facebook. Thank you. Okay.